My name is Dr. Nancy Okinda. I am the program director for the pathology residency program at Aga Khan University Hospital, Nairobi. In our department, we offer two programs, anatomic pathology program and clinical pathology program. So I will talk uh, about the clinical pathology program in this presentation. The main aim of the Masters of Medicine in Clinical Pathology is to achieve the highest level of competency in patient care, medical knowledge, practice-based learning and improvement, interpersonal and communication skills in the field of clinical pathology. The program has certain expectations. It's a four-year training program and it's designed to enable the graduate to provide consult consultancy services in chemical pathology, hematology, clinical microbiology, and immunopathology. We also aim to provide skills in the principles of lab management and administration for our graduates. The graduates are expected to be competent, uh, to be able to initiate research and to collaborate with the colleagues in undertaking research. We train our residents uh, to take responsibility for their continuing professional development and also for their colleagues and junior staff. The residents are expected to have knowledge and skills ethics and compassion with a sound orientation toward the community. The residents acquire knowledge of good principles and practice of lab medicine. And finally, we engage them in quality assurance uh, processes and the accreditation uh, processes of our laboratory. The clinical pathology residency program is a four-year program. Uh, with emphasis on patient care, lab management, teaching and research. During their training, the residents rotate through the following subspecialties, hematology and blood transfusion, chemical pathology, microbiology, molecular pathology, and immunology. During their rotations uh, through the earlier mentioned uh, sub-disciplines or sub-specialities. Uh, the residents are expected to learn about um, administration of uh, clinical laboratories. They are expected to keep abreast of new te technical methodologies, to acquire proficiency in quality control procedures, and to liaise with other clinicians in the hospital as they, as they participate in teaching and the general day-to-day -day work within the clinical laboratory. During their rotations, there are certain, there are certain academic activities they are expected to engage in and the mode of learning is self-directed and they are also uh, involved uh, in teaching and active participation in research projects. The responsibilities of the residents are graded so as they ascend uh, up in the year of years of training they're given more practical uh, and um, leadership responsibilities. They are also expected to participate in the postgraduate program of the department and the clinical academic meetings within the institution. The department also encourages the residents to present their research findings at national and international conferences or meetings. 
During the training, the program is supervised um, by the Departmental Residency Training Committee, which is headed by myself, the program director, and various discipline coordinators. The, DR, the DRTC will be composed, is normally composed of faculty members from various divisions and a resident representative. It's a four-year full-time study program with a maximum of six years uh, allowed for completion. During their training, the residents' performance is, uh, is evaluated using various tools. We have the formative assessment tools and the summative assessment tools. The formative assessment uh, tools uses work-based assessment whereby the various competencies are assessed during the training of the resident and at the end of their second year of training a summative assessment is performed um, during their part one examinations and also in their fourth year of training the residents also sit their exit examination which is also a summative assessment. Thank you.